Do people living in the area around the Mossman substation transmission line upgrade? It says Evergy is preparing for some of the next steps in the project with construction expected to start in 2025. We talked to some people who live around that substation. The project means they will likely need to find a new place to live. Sean Logging is taking a look at it. Sean. Mike, Rachel, Evergy is looking to replace and upgrade the transmission line that runs between this substation here at Mossman and Chautauqua and the one at Wichita State University. The new line will be run along the Red Bud Trail, but for people who live at the end of this block here, they tell me this project will likely mean they will have to find a new home. At the end of this block, Roberto Fabella has spent many years of his life. I love my neighbors too. They're, they're real good people, you know. I would miss to see them go, you know, and all of us go. But Roberto says his time here is limited. To December, and we'll give you, I guess, some, they said they wanted to give us money, but I was like, man, I don't, it's, I just want to let it go. <laughs> it's just, and it hurts so bad just to see it go. He says it was about a month ago. He and his family were approached to sell the property and house to Evergy for the planned Mossman transmission line upgrade, which includes expanding the substation. It's a house. Roberto says he spent a lot of time remodeling following a fire. It's really sad, you know. I hope, you know, I wish there was another way that they can do this. I was praying to God. I was like, man, I don't want to see my house go down. Evergy is planning a major upgrade to its transmission line between Mossman substation and Wichita State University. Transmission line has been in place since the 1960s, so it's aging and nearing the end of its service life, and we um, are preparing to rebuild it. So again, it meets um, modern standards for safety and reliability. Following community feedback and working with the city, Evergy says it was determined the path it will take is along the Red Bud Trail. Terrain is kind of rocky. We will need to use steel poles. So again, the community's preference was for weathered steel, which is more of that brown color. So we'll be able to put that into our design. Roberto wishes though, it didn't mean saying goodbye to the place he's called home. There's no place like home, you know? <laughs> Yeah, but I guess it is what it is, you know. Survey work on the project is expected to start soon, which will be used to determine the design of the project. Evergy says that continued communications will go out to people in the impacted area of the project. And an informational town hall is planned for this fall when a design is finalized. Another one when the project starts construction here, closer to construction.